All right. Today is tomorrow. Well, uh, yesterday would have been, yeah. Uh, check our calendar. Today is the 5th, Sunday. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody who celebrates it. Um, back on this tuner section right here, the shafts, giving me the shaft here. Um, we managed to um, let that cure overnight. It is, my, my epoxy probably is getting a little old and it's taken a good time to cure up but it's cured up enough to uh, make the thing a little bit more workable than it was before. Uh, we managed to get that back in. That's all solid again. We got this put back together. We got the uh, saw blade out and compressed against this thing, uh, the grommet. Uh, we got, we got, the, all the wires connected into the tuner again. We still got to put the braids down and get them grounded. Um, here on the you can hopefully see the throw out bearing working all right. Um, <clears throat> So now, uh, what we did to also was we got all these wires hooked back into this trimmer array right here, and the ground on it, and that ground. Uh, this one here, uh, they got a little excessive with their solder and stuff, so that's pretty solid. So I tried to get it out so they get a little bit more flexation, if, that, if that's a word. I guess it is. I said it. Um, so we and we got this one back in. So now, what else we got to do? We got to get the uh, we got to get the IF cans back mounted onto the thing, and then we'll do the um, the volume control and boost control. So. Stay tuned for that. We'll be back. I don't. I don't know if I'll. Um, I don't know if I'll go so far as to uh, detail to uh, video the uh, installation, the reinstallation of the IF cans. Uh, we'll have to see. So, but you'll know one way or another. Hang in there. We'll be back. Okay, we got both the IF cans stalled back in um, and connected. So, uh, sorry I didn't video that. It probably wouldn't have taken very long, but four connections each. Um, here is the connection criteria. You can freeze this and take a look at it. The yellow has been changed to a blue. The red is the, still the red. The white black, which was the original color code, uh, is black now. And this one here uh, was a green white, or green I think it was. Uh, that is green. So I think it was the yellow green. It was a yellow green is what they used. Over here on the second IF, yellow green, that terminal strip is that terminal strip that I removed uh, earlier in the earlier video. The white black is a black, goes to the SQ7 tube, that is that one right there, there is the black. Here is the green, comes up here to the second lug, off the right side. Over here is the red, comes out of there, goes over here to the second lug. Right there, 
and then the yellow which is the blue I changed to blue it comes off pin 8 of the K7 that's it right back down in there second IF first IF blue ties to pin 2 of the H7 tube red red comes out and ties to the first lug over here of this terminal strip right there um, the black comes out and comes up here to the antenna connection right there goes down and back down in there and then the green comes over here and ties to one two three four fourth pin of the K7 tube which is that one right there and that's all there is now they did uh, I think they did pull a booger and use these little speed nuts on the backs of these so they're going to be problematic um, but it's manageable if I can do it anybody can do it hopefully so um, that puts the IF cans in now in the previous video let me put you down here for a second and get your pointer there uh, let me get rid of some of this stuff in the way here put that back over there where I might lose it yeah let's turn this thing over um, I still got to put the braids back on to the tuner section to get them grounded uh, but I wanted to give this a little bit more time to cure up before I have to see whether or not I'm going to have to take this thing apart again to deal with that issue with the uh, slippage so um, there we are yeah that it is beautiful. Now what I did with this saw blade, I sharpened it. I took a mini file to the teeth. You can see there where I started and went around in a counterclockwise all the way back. Angled my mini file and put more 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 uh, more of an edge on that on those teeth. To grip that grommet better and uh, you can see that this uh, blade is is just about flush with the with the end of the shaft on the tuner so um, hallelujah yeah Hallelujah, brother. Okay, so uh, that manages to be all right. So that gets in there and grippies that pretty good. So let's see whether or not we can. Throw out bearing. Just enough to give clearance on that wheel. So you, that thing, because if you try to do it without without that little clearance on that grommet you'll grind that grommet off when this thing goes to spin if it spins at all and I think that's what they was doing before on the old stuff uh oh <laughs> It's turning, but it's not turning the, the wheel. Why isn't it? I got to find out what the heck is going on with that. 
Oh, there. There it goes. There's that. There's that. Hmm. Now, if you get a little bit too much slippage here, you can loosen these doggone set screws here and pressure, put more pressure against that thing there. There is a little gaposis there whenever the throwout bearing goes into action. Uh, so you you got a little play there, and it's going to be a fine little adjustment there, uh, back and forth until you get the right right thing you need. So there there is that. So now that I've got those on there, um, and this on there, I can go ahead and tie these off back to the solder points and um and then start concentrating on reinstalling this boost assembly and getting it tied back into the volume control and get the volume control set back up that's going to get new wiring on it when it goes back in so hang in there we'll have some more okay we got the boost and uh, phono radio button, low boost, high boost in. Uh, e, this con these two connections here come off of this side over here. This is the radio phono push button. Um, this comes over and feeds back over here into the K7. Um, pin, pin 5 here's the two off the auxiliary input or the phono input um, let's see this one here comes off of the Q7 pin 2 this greenish looking one comes down to here um, I I call there's two Q7s the other one is a, is a Q7 underscore two um, and now we put fresh new wire in for the other ones that went up top to the volume control one to the high side of the control another to the um, to the wiper and another one to the uh, the tap on the volume control. Now let me turn this over and uh, show you what that looks like. And here we are. Here's that purple one that went to the tap. The orange one went to the top or high side of the volume control the other one went to the wiper and then the bottom lug goes to the chassis ground and we got all our clips back on all our clips are staged here now we're going to make the connection to the uh, to the linkage to the lower controls and uh, we're we're coming down the, the wire here so let me uh, let me get those ready and we'll be back okay we're back we're prepped ready for putting the linkages in um, if you remember what I said in the other video when we took this apart these here these here are staged staged up these keyways on this side it's staged up on that side staged up it went down it went down and to the set so we, we put that on there like that we put a little bit of white lithium grease on the shafts um, 
up here for the lube. There we go. There. That seats back like that. We got the keyway up. This here is going to be whatever it is. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, and we're going to lock it down. We're going to try attempt to lock it down. When it's straight up. Now, I think that is... No, it's not. Technical note. Make sure the thing is all the way to rotated counter counterclockwise before you lock her down so we are so now let's go back and reset There we go. That's what we want. Now, this other side, we got some white lithium on that also. This one here is turned to other things, so we slip that onto there. We'll put this onto here. Get back there. All right, Just put the keyway up. Now that is pointing down. Uh, this one here, uh, we want to make sure that that this, um, let me pull that back off of there for a moment. We want to make sure that this is fully uh, counterclockwise to the stop and we are so let's slip that back on there Let me see, that's going to go, let me double check my knob, my knob knob. Memor memories are a little sluggish today. Okay, so that there's the flat, the flat spot. The keyway is up. So we're in the A, so it's going to go up or counterclockwise. This here is going to go, so I got it in reverse. So I need to, when you know, <laughs> yeah. Burns, you're spatting a thousand. Okay, there we go. Now, let's put this back on there. Nice and snug. We are pointed up. Let's tip her up and get her get her locked down. There we go. Now when we put that on there. There we go. I don't. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I just needed a little assistance there. 
Okay. So that takes care of that. So we're the front end is getting completed. Hope, 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 hope. Uh, we're going to have to. Um, We're going to have to get the front panel ready. I do need to drag out some felt so we can refelt that panel. I got it hanging over there like a bat <laughs> upside down. Uh, I did that oh last week sometime. Um, hmm. uh, and I got the felt over there on uh, on the toolbox. I just gonna need to drag it out and get it sized and get it uh, stuck on the um, get it stuck on the on the uh, panel and then uh, we can concentrate on getting the panel mounted up and then get the dial string on it boy we're getting close here I can smell it What's that smell? Um, so, there we go. Um, hope you got something out of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, if you so please. And uh, happy Cinco de Mayo for the rest of the day. We will see everybody again, uh, possibly tomorrow. Right now, I gotta, I gotta bag up my Texans other second radio and get it boxed up so I can send it off to uh, Texas tomorrow so thanks for watching everyone